Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 4 of 60 Seconds. New game, we're going for the full apocalypse again. Still on Fat Man difficulty. Not streaming this time, so there shouldn't be all those interruptions. <laughs> well, hopefully, I try and edit all the interruptions, but you know. When it's like a 30 minute long video, some of them sneak by. Okay, oh, we got a ton of food and water sitting right here. We're definitely going to grab that first. The axe, and then there's some food and water in the kitchen. Maybe the gun, and definitely the radio. Come on, get it, Ted. Get it. Good boy. Okay, to the shelter. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait. Where's the shelter? Oh, we were right by it. Damn it. Well, that wasted some precious time. <laughs> Thought we started further away from it. Okay, uh, what's in here? Food. That's water. Where's the radio at? I don't know, but there's some food. Gas mask. Okay, we got 30 seconds left. Oh, let's grab a med kit. No room, damn it! Ah! I didn't, I, was, I didn't know how much room the med kit took. Okay, hatchet, let's grab that. Our gun accidentally, okay. That's the end there. Okay, let's grab people. Let's go ahead and grab uh, Mary Jane. Save the children. Won't anyone think of the children? Uh oh, we're not gonna have time for anyone else. It's just gonna be me and Mary Jane. Let's grab the hatchet. Okay, looks like it's just me and Mary Jane. Uh... <laughs> Alright, well that's a new one. I haven't tried that, which is the duo of us. Looks like the wife and... Uh, little Timmy were left behind. Day one. Alright. They do look very similar, though. I believe they're related. At least the two of us made it if we only had a small house and less slippery floors. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from the cans, we'll sleep in the cans, even talk to the cans. There's just barely enough water for everyone, we'll have to ration it strictly. Okay, we got- oh, dang it, I grabbed too much food, not enough water. <coughs> That's a new one. I normally grab way too much water, but... Water is something that you can often trade stuff for, so I feel like more often than not, that's possible. We don't have any entertainment, we just have the axe, gun, oh, we don't have ammo or anything, we do have a gas mask, so hopefully going outside will be a little easier. Okay, nothing new going on with either of them. Let's move on. Alright, Ted, we're definitely going to send you out. Okay, everything is shaking, cans are jumping. If this had happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would have seemed perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. Right, I guess I'll grab the gas mask. I'm not sure how like a, a hatchet's going to get smashed to pieces. Okay, we got to the gas mask in time just before it was about to get smashed by jumping pieces of furniture. That was one hell of a quake. Let's try to stay positive. That was hardly anything compared to the nuke that dropped recently. You know the one, right? Getting something to drink from Rajun. Okay, they both want water. So we will allow them to. Send Ted out on the expedition the next day. Hopefully he can go out and find something good. Hopefully some more water. Maybe a radio. Mary Jane isn't worried. At least she's not saying out loud. Ted left the surface. Okay, why was she playing a saxophone in the picture? I thought she played the tuba, or baritone. Whichever one it was, I'm not entirely sure. Fun memories are one thing, but we need, to bear, we need to be ready for the harsh reality that awaits us. Okay, Mary Jane is fine. She doesn't need anything. Hmm. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country, so there's a good chance she's still could figuring or she's still configuring her cow counting machine and not worrying about nukes raining down on her henhouse. Too bad we don't have a photo of her, or do we? Uh, no, we don't have any photos of her. Sorry. <laughs> Something about coffee. Maybe it was in, like by the coffee machine. And so we are left with no photos. Okay, she wants something to drink, but we're gonna wait. And we don't have a deck of cards. I'm really bad at gathering supplies in this game. Damn. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of examples set up the kids? We need supplies. We're not getting them like that. We, we'd we sooner rob someone. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. That's what it was. A guy came and wanted to play cards and we didn't have cards. Whatever. Oh, let's get Mary Jane some water. Someone's been tripping our shrubs, or is that just a nuclear blast blowing them to kingdom come? Date. Date. Maybe moving away won't be too bad. We can probably make new friends, new people. 
Friday and when it's still alive, that is. Okay, she's hungry. Let's go ahead and feed her. After all the... We smell bad real bad. Okay, I have nothing to clean. What would they do with bullets? Like, maybe burn the gunpowder to make a smell? But that won't really cover body odor or anything. Ooh, is Ted back? Oh, shit. Ted, you're not looking so hot, buddy. Ted has safely returned from his voyage. We ran through the airdrop crates during an expedition. We should probably be thankful for the president... To President Fonda for organizing drops. Is that Jane Fonda? But it's a... No, it's a guy, but he's still the one in charge. Getting your country nuked during your term doesn't sound like a good thing to put on your resume. A food drop, just what we need. Bread, cheese, meat, chocolate, nope, tomato soup cans. Oh, okay, so we got two water bottles as well. Awesome. Uh, no radio. <gasps> Eventually we found a box of Tulsa just something I'm tinkering and using trolley. We end up with the radio that occasionally works. We call that a win. Awesome. Okay, so they're both infected. Um. Oh, I didn't get the medikit. Damn it. Okay, let's, let's feed and um, drink both of them. Uh, let's send Mary Jane out. Let's do it. Ted's still sick, so we can't really do much of him. Oh, it looks like we got a comment. Thomas Turner commented on my video. Ah, uh, the Android app is messing up again. I was gonna give him a shout out. Hold on, Thomas. Uh, she did not leave? Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Um... She doesn't look fine. And then Thomas Turner says, Annoyed I had to leave the stream before you played this sad face. Oh, you can watch it now on YouTube, buddy. Cause you're doing it right now. Uh, they said they were fine, right? Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay, let's feed them both. Enough sitting around, let's send her out. Even though she doesn't look great. It says she feels fine, so... Oh well. Mary Jane went outside, Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay, we'll feed him. We got plenty of food. Now they're just griping about sunshine. Sunshine. Was that the name of the guy on Remember the Titans, that movie? That was a good movie. I had a good soundtrack. Still, it's better this. It's better be safe than that up there. Ted needs water. Okay. We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It's like something was watching us. Okay. Uh. I don't think we have any bullets, so maybe we shouldn't have used the gun. Oh god, Ted's coughing. Whatever it was is dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's something more that's hidden in these nasty little holes. Ted not complaining. Ted's not complaining. Alright, let's listen to the radio. Radio. Day 14. Ted is still looking like shit. Ted keeps coughing and coughing. Okay, well, here, have some water, Ted. We can keep sitting on our backsides and we can start thinking about getting away. Okay, let's use the radio again. I guess nothing happened with it last time? Hmm. Alright. Mary Jane was supposed to be back. Oh, God, is Mary Jane. Okay, I, I lost Mary Jane last episode. <laughs> she just disappeared. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do is now wait patiently. The soldier with a bar with a boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait out for the instructions and keep our radio in working order. Ted's doing fine. Um, no. We're going to let Ted rest. Well, maybe Mary Jane will come back at some point or she's gone forever. Oh my god. I probably shouldn't have sent her out there. She she took the gas mask too. Alright, Ted still hasn't recovered from his illness. Yeah, let's 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 feed him. Was it like starve a fever? Feed a cold or something? We heard someone knocking on the door. It was very interested in ammunition. How about that? Sorry we got nothing to trade, buddy. Anyway, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> He's got a sock puppet. We tell the stranger disappointed, but it's none of our business. Ted has gone crazy. Just as simple as that, huh? Okay, let's listen to the radio. Ted is sick, and he has a sock puppet friend. Day 18. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing new. We hear nothing but annoying static. Better, better luck next time. Ted keeps coughing. Here, have some water, Ted. There's some very serious banging on the hatch. We were scared to open it. It might be some good news, right? 
Hmm. Let's go for it. Ted's gone crazy. Or maybe it's uh, Mary Jane. She can't get back in or something. I guess we'll find out. Oh, nice. Mysterious fellow in a weird suit. He gave us some soup cans. Oh, well, damn, dude. We don't need soup cans. We need water. I still don't want to send Ted out. And let's use the, uh, the radio. He's still looking pretty sick. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fog is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. We're just going to keep feeding him. And yeah, we'll send him outside. <laughs> what, if he, what if he never comes back too? Are we just going to be looking at an empty shelter? We found the herd and we were able to bring down something that looked like a two-headed donkey that was carrying a package of sorts. A giant bird of prey swooped down, grabbed the carcass and flew away. All that remained were a few cans of soup. Okay. Have some more soup, Ted. Um... We'll give it one more day. Oh, what? The military has been... They said their first step is locate any remaining survivors. A plane will do me a sweep over a neighborhood in the evening. And we're supposed to be in the open signaling with a flashlight. Well, I don't have a flashlight. Um, I have a bunch of soup. Does that help? Can I signal a plane with soup? The signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost? Especially in this economy. Especially after it was wiped out. I don't think they do. Okay, Ted. We're gonna send you out again tomorrow. Okay, we got spiders, but we got nothing. To, we can't do anything about the spiders. They're gonna steal all of our soup. Ah, oh, no, he died. How did he die? We decided we could get rid of the spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever body parts we'd use for non-anti-spider, for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we underestimated the chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. Ted has been sick for far too long. He was too weak to keep going. He passed out in his sleep. We didn't make it. These are final words. The advice to anyone who reads this is obscured. Writing. <laughs> okay. Didn't do too hot. Okay, I'm thinking in future runs... I'm focusing too much on water and food. Because those things we seem to get from random events. Like, we haven't really run out of those. We just need a couple of each. And we should be good. I should focus on other items. Because those will actually change the gameplay. And I just realized, is that a Breaking Bad reference? With the pizza on the roof? I think it might be. Huh. But yeah, I'm going to focus on getting actual other items. To try and help the run in different ways. We'll try that next time. I'll see you guys. Have a good one. Biplane. Get it? Because it's a biplane. Shut up, I'm funny.